Getting sick isn't any fun at all. So I'm going to show you how to make a Get Well card with a fun little surprise to put a smile on their face with the Stampin' Up! Get Well Soup Stamp. Come and watch! We're going to take the cute Get Well Soup single stamp and we're going to stamp it twice. Okay, so the first time on Whisper White cardstock and we're using Rich Raspberry Classic Stampin' Pad ink. Push, flip, lock that lid into place. Let's go ahead and ink this up really well. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 14 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamped smiles. So we want to stamp this in the center. Press well everywhere for a nice deep image. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Great. Now, we're going to stamp it again. This time, I'm going to do it on the thick Whisper White cardstock. And I don't need the whole image. I need from the spoon down. I want that to be stamped really well. And this comes in wood mount only. So it's just that single stamp. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do some coloring. I'm going to use the Rich Raspberry Classic Stampin' Pad to do the water coloring too. And so the lids are pliable. I'm going to press with the palm of my hand. I'm pressing that lid, the pad, right down into the lid and getting ink in there. And then I have an aqua painter. Love this. I'm going to squeeze, get some water out. Okay, look. There we go. And now we're ready to start coloring. Um, this one we're going to do the most coloring on and then we're going to cut it out and layer it on this and it's going to be popped up. So we want to do a little bit of coloring over here just so it's not all stark white from the edge. Alright, so we don't need to go in very far. We're just going to go ahead and do this perimeter and it'll just look a lot better. Okay, and really that's enough for that. Let's fill in the white area. Okay. So we've got that. Set this aside. Now we're going to color this in. I'm going to be covering up the heart, so we're going to not worry about that. You can see I didn't stamp as deeply as I'd like, but since I've got the same color, I've got this nice and deep. Let's go ahead and fill that in. I do want that spoon to be deeper. Fantastic. Who would ever know? A little drop right there. Perfect. And so we're going to, like I said, use the same color and watercolor. And with the thick Whisper White, it takes the ink better and I'm able to get the deeper colors watercoloring. And this is just, it's just so relaxing. I love watercoloring. Your heart rate, it goes down. It's peaceful. It's just got to be good for our overall health, not just our mental health, but our physical health when you feel your heart rate coming down, huh? All right. Oh, isn't that pretty? So we're just going to go ahead and, and fill this in. And then, you know, do some shading, have some fun. You're supposed to be leaving a place where the, the light hits it, so we'll do that. And like I said, with the, the thick... I can put down more water, have a good time. Okay, let's leave some white area. All right, so I'm picking up the darker color here. Let's come back along here and make this dark. And this really doesn't take any time at all. Hmm, all right. And then when I have it that dark there, I want to make some of it darker up here too. Now we're not going for, you know, totally everything dark. We do want some shades. And then from this side too, because we're having the light hit about there. So we'll make this edge. Can you have an edge on a round bowl? <laughs> make this deeper too. Really am enjoying the thick Whisper White cardstock so I can use the heavier color, more water. All right, that's actually looking pretty good. Got our white space, our color thins out. And as it dries, it just gets better and better looking too. 
Okay, great. So now we want to go ahead, let's go ahead and close this so that it doesn't dry up. Um, oh, I do want to color that center, the soup. I'm going to use crumb cake, but you know what? Let's let it dry because we don't want those two to bleed. I didn't want, you know, to look like I... I did beet soup <laughs> with the with the um, rich raspberry bleeding into my crumb cake, so we can do that when we're done. And and a lot of times I like to leave a border around. It's not going to work for this one. And so we're going to just cut right up to that edge. Love the paper snips. They allow you to do this detail cutting. It's just so easy to just go ahead and get around and do all that. So let's go ahead and cut this out and then show you the fun surprise for this card. So we've got our cup of soup all cut out and some crumb cake in here and I add a little bit of color to the hearts on both of them and see that's just going to fit right over and all right here's our fun little surprise. What is this? Well it's an action wobble and so stinking cute and it's self-adhesive so we just have to peel these off and uh, I like using my paper, paper piercing tool. Great. And what I found to work better for me is the solid, this, going on the back of what I want to wobble. All right. So we're going to press this on here, get it in the center. Great. And then peel this off. This side you'll see in just a moment is clear. Oh, there we go. Peel right off. I'm going to get this little center out of here too. I don't think it'll hurt anything, but we'll just get it out of the way. All right, so now that we have that, I want to center this on here. Great. And so now our steam all goes together, but then, and that's one reason I wanted the Thick Whisper White, not just for the watercoloring, but it works better <laughs> when it has some weight behind it. Let me show you the finished card. Here's my finished Get Well Soup card with some spring action. I know, it just makes you smile and you can't help but play with it. <laughs> and so how great is that, that we can make a Get Well card to put a smile on someone's face who isn't feeling quite so well. So let me tell you what I've done here. I added an old olive button and that's from the Brights Designer Buttons. And because I don't like make naked buttons, I added some Whisper White Baker's Twine and tied it into a sweet little bow. Attached it with some mini glue dots. And then this designer paper with that subtle pattern, isn't that nice? Well, that is from the Pretty Petals Designer Series Paper Stack. And then here, well, that's washi tape from the Bohemian Designer Washi Tape. Nice little finishing touch. And so all the products that I use to make my Get Well card with some spring action, they're available to order in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, with just one exception. The Action Wobbles, well, I found those on Amazon, and I'll have a link to that underneath the video. So you can pick some up if you'd like to make some Get Well cards with some spring action to put a smile on somebody's face. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.